Okay, so when I was thinking about this, I've never actually recorded an introduction for this podcast. So, welcome to the World of Skanks CJ Podcast, where we talk about music of all kinds, pop, country, hip-hop, trap, R&B, soul, just overall. We're, we're going to take a deep dive into music um, and just kind of see where we end up and what conversations and what we can learn from the music that isn't so clear in the first listen. So, welcome to the Royal King CJ Music Podcast, and I hope you enjoy. This episode is brought to you by Snapple. Welcome to the Snapple Market Auditory Experience. Close your eyes. Imagine you're walking into your neighborhood store. You make your way to the back and reach for your favorite Snapple flavor. You can't wait. You take a sip. Whoa, that's a lot of flavor. Mmm. What flavor are you holding? Now, open your eyes and check out Snapple.com to find ridiculously flavorful Snapple near you. Okay, so before I get into this episode, there are a few things I want to discuss. Um, DG, uh, DG, DDG has put out a statement, uh... About this, about the song called "Famous" that are that's on his "Made It," maybe it's me. Um, that he did that is it's on this. I guess we're gonna call it an album on his album that is maybe it's me. And so I don't know if he thought maybe it's me would be a great a great single as it is the first song on his uh album. So he did a song maybe it's me. Um. Which has started some controversy because uh, his 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 girlfriend Haley Berry, ugh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. However, there has been a conversation, and I'm not entirely sure what this conversation consists of. So, we're going to talk about this song. We're going to talk about his controversy. He said that it's just music. It's just. In a statement, he just he just strictly just says that it's just music to have fun. It's not it's not meant to be taken serious, which a lot of people are trying to figure out what exactly that is meant to be taken as. Which I think there's a lot of because there's this statement behind music, and this, the statement is there's some truth to it. There's always a little bit of truth to some music that people write, and I don't know. I don't know. It's 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 weird, and I, I do want to make this statement abundantly clear before I get into any of this, um, especially with celebrities. And I and this isn't in any regard at me kicking or taking shots at anybody. This is me being genuinely honest, especially when it comes to celebrities and who you date. Um, if you're dating celebrities, there's a kind I don't know. There's NDAs that people have said that they made, like people sign if they get with them or fans get with or people get with them because um, just for safety reasons for both people and both parties, which I think is fine. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing or that shouldn't be a thing or any of that. I'm just saying there takes a it takes a, a, a certain amount of security, especially to be with somebody that is famous Um and I'm gonna leave it at that because if I go into too much detail, people are like, "Oh, you're taking shots," and I'm not trying to take shots at anybody. Anyway, DJ create makes a song called uh, "Famous," which is his leading single on his song "Maybe It's Me," and I think "Maybe It's Me" and he tries to play play in on it, and that it's that that song has, that clip of that song has been posted everywhere. Um, but he says, "I he says I." fall in love and I hate it. He has the feeling of being in love, which is, I mean, there are a lot of people that say that, that they fall in love with somebody and they hate the idea that they have fallen in love with a lot, they're falling, with, falling in love with a person that they weren't necessarily sure they were going to fall in love with, which is weird. He says, uh, he says he can't, he can't deal with relationships because they come up, he just, they get into relationships and that can be because it comes up with so much stuff. He, and he says he has no time to chase uh he has he says there isn't enough time in a day for me to chase a girl it's an exp, it's an exp, 
an explicit language. However, I'm not using that because I personally believe that I don't like to call women that. So, I've chosen the word woman, and um, and he says he just doesn't want to, doesn't want to chase women, and he's over that. Which this this is I guess this is complicated. And I guess the reason that fans are feeling this way is because they've had uh, controversy around this about him around him before of him cheating and stuff like that. So it it's very it's a very touchy subject. That's why I don't know if the marketing behind this was hey, you know, if you make it and you're in a relationship with this ex celebrity you're in you're you're in a relationship with this celebrity, they might come to her aid or your aid because they believe that you're right and that might be it. Um that might be partially it and it's it's interesting. He says, I don't even act for much. I just act for basic stuff. He says, he says the hardest thing I did was ever fall in love with somebody, a famous girl or a famous woman. And it, and this is the thing, and especially when I keep saying that to fall in love with a celebrity, especially a woman or a man, truthfully, it, if you fall in love with a celebrity, it takes a lot of, it takes a lot, it takes a lot, to, you have to be insecure, secure in yourself or secure enough in your relationship or in yourself because nine times out of ten they're gonna make more money than you um but also nine times out of ten there's a lot of fans that want to be with you and 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 he in his course he just says i don't need the, i don't need the fans because you know i I just don't need the fans that are saying that that they want to be with me and are in love with me because they you know love me um, but this could also be saying that he has like boundaries, especially he can create that he has with fans and which this isn't a situation. And I don't know. <sighs> it's weird to me because he also says, if you see me tweet, don't read it. I swear I'll delete it. And I will, which is, I, I don't know if he's saying I will backtrack on my situations because I'm, I'm tweeting in the moment. And this is the thing. A lot of people tweet in the moment, especially when they're in a relationship with celebrities because they don't feel like they're being treated correctly and everyone has access to her, but the person um, that isn't, that isn't, uh, that isn't like, that isn't like their significant other or their partner. And the world seems like they have access to them, like blogs, uh, promotion, because a lot of celebrities have to do promotion. And he's just saying, I don't, he says, sometimes I feel defeated, and I think that's, he says, I keep trying to figure out what we're going to do, uh, you film a movie, now you're kissing dudes, and, and this is, this is the thing, and I think there's a stigma behind this, too, where people, where famous women have to deal with this, because there are a lot of men, and I hate, I hate that I'm calling men out, I think, if you're listening to my podcast, I would hope that he, I don't know, that you, that you wouldn't be caught up. I don't know necessarily in the idea that, you know, especially with films, there goes a lot of promotion. There are a lot of TV roles that people may not agree with, but th- at the same time, there are situations in where if I'm making a film, I'm trying to make us more money. And he says, if you know, <laughs> You know I love you a lot. I don't. I don't care. But I don't care for promotion. But a lot of these scenes are cut up and edited so that the promotion team can use them by editors. And I don't know if, because I know some of these scenes take. Uh, these scenes could take a, a, a couple days to film and create and everything. And so him saying I don't want no promo. I don't care. Uh, I don't want to see it no more. Which is him just kind of like I don't want to see the promotion anymore because. Um, I can never, and what I think, what I think the idea of this is like, I won't be able to ever see you without them or get this out of my head because you're filming with these guys so often and you might run into these hands again. He says, why are you holding hands even for the promotion shoot? And I mean, some, some do it for the promotion suit, but I, as I said, some of these scenes are cut up, you know, I'm insecure and that's a no, no, which I mean, if they're setting boundaries and they know that. Like, I don't know, like, I think this is a conversation you would ha- especially have before you get into a relationship and you talk about your boundaries and you talk about your hard no's and you talk about your hard yeses. Like, this is, I think, something you talk about before you get into a relationship, 
which is strongly why I think this, th- I think this song, and I, I don't have any insight on what caused them to release this, um, but I think I have an idea of what caused them to release this the way that they did, and if they did release it this way, it's, I mean, it worked. I mean, I can't hate to play it, but y'all, I mean, this is, and I keep coming back because I'm too attached and I can't leave without you because I have a, I've fallen in love with you. Um, oh, Rex, there's no limit. I keep spending the max. I keep spending how much I have at the time. And, and all these guys, (laughs) and all these guys being your DM telling you that you're proud. This could go for anybody, but it's, it's weird, especially because of these allegations that he's facing, which I don't know. But I, he says, but I know that's part of the game. So I don't know. All these industry guys are lame, which I don't necessarily understand. If you know these industry guys are lame, and all these guys are in my, and all these people are in my business, which I think he's talking about paparazzi fans, her fans, because they caught him cheating, which I think is, which is, I think, weird. I think it's. I get so high, I can't feel anything, which I think he's just saying that he experiments with. Uh, stuff and he uh, does it (laughs) he says I'm so insecure with the guys that you're sleeping with Um, you be sleeping with them in the movies with and I don't know I think I think this is a thing and I think there has to be especially when you're um, your significant other is in um, in the movie business because there are ways that they film movies and and it's completely consensual sometimes it's not and we've seen those lawsuits and we've seen um disputes with that happen with labels and stuff like that and i think i won't say all the time but there are sometimes and some um women celebrities have come out and said that they didn't feel comfortable with it seems so they asked the writers to take it out and sometimes the writers do sometimes they don't um but i think you know if that's something that needs to be negotiated i would think um there would be like a clause in there for uh, a clause in her uh, agreement where she can say no to any part of the thing that she doesn't want to do, and I think that's something that should be talked about in um, a certain situation. But on the internet, I'm cool. I keep it in my head. But on the internet, I'm I'm just cooling in my head, which I think he just he tweets to get his, his he tweets to get his thoughts out so he can cool himself down. Which I wouldn't say is a great idea. I wouldn't recommend if you're in a relationship to go to social media about your relationship because you're dealing with something and it makes you upset. I wouldn't. I, I had I had a rule and I still have a this rule. I have a uh, a forty eight hour rule. The rule is if I'm still feeling bad about this situation, um, I'm having a talk with my partner forty eight hours after, and then if I can't get my point across, I will go to social media. Right, but that's this is where we talk about it before we get to that stage, right? Because there, you know, there are certain situations where we handle situations like that. Gotta be paying good because you keep going, you keep doing it, which is, I, I I don't know. I don't know if this is response to the SGA, right? I'm not sure what this is response. I think this was written, and I, I think it was, as he said, I think this was just music, and then he released this at the weirdest time for this to be released, because it, a lot of conversations were about this, and I think that's why he, I think that's why he released this, because if he releases any other time, the SGAs, the writer shortage and uh, writer strikes, this would have just, uh, this would have just went a lot through a lot of people's radars, and I, that's why I'm saying I don't know. I wonder if this was basically just pushed for promotion um because i i do think this was pushed the way that it's promoted which is weird um i know there's a couple things about your job i just want to know when you shoot your movies do do you get happy when these guys are around you is it does it excite you when you leave a set do you still text on the phone and i think I think this is just like a conversation that needs to be had. And I don't know if this was the right way. I don't know if the, I've, he might have felt these emotions at some point. But I don't know if releasing this was the best idea uh, strategically to drop this. But I, at the same time, I can't sit here and say that music is just music. Because music, music always has some truth to it. Which is a weird line I thought I would never have to say. But it is. It's, music has some truth to it. And so... 
I think what happened, and I, I could be wrong, right? I could be completely wrong. But the marketing team saw what happened with Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend. Excuse me, I don't know his name. I'm not I'm not going to sit and say I do. I don't. Um, and that was the perfect time because people were talking about relationships and stuff like that. So it was like, I'm going to drop this as the lead single or drop this to see if it happens because people are talking about this conversation right now. Which is ironic because it dropped what? It, so it, I don't know. I think this is a... It's a weird way. I will give everyone the benefit of it and say, yes, this was a weird way that this was dropped. However, it's great, I think, if people aren't painted as G, uh, the writers and the writers and the actors strike that just 40 years, first time in 40 years has been together. And so this shines light on a lot of different topics and this promoted a lot of different things. I don't think this promoted the album well, but I think this promoted that song very well. Um, and the last time I checked, it had, had over a hundred thousand like views, um, because of this the the way that this was promoted through different sources and and it, it, it's definitely weird. I think it's I, as I say, I don't like capitalizing on people's uh, thing, but I I don't know if I kind of have a choice. Like I think I have a choice, but I, I do want to keep you informed on this, and I was going to cover this album anyway. But this song, I don't know, this song, it's been, it's been around, it's been talked about a lot, and I don't necessarily know, I don't know, and this song, uh, this is the probably the lowest I'm going to give a song on this show, and that's because I don't think this song has any, like, true value to it, I think this song is, it's, it's a nice song, it's a nice beat, I think he covered the beat well but i think this i think this song is more like a four out of ten and i and i don't want to say like that's bad it's it's an okay song it but i think this conversation and uh, and this is the thing if it's a true conversation if we're having a true conversation this conversation uh could have been handled differently i don't know I don't know if any social media platform should have been involved in this conversation. I think this is a conversation. Hey, um, hey, my significant other, I think we need to talk about this because at this very moment, this isn't something that I think I'm okay with in this moment. I think we need to go to marriage counseling. I think we need to go to relationship counseling. I think there's, there's ways to handle this. And I don't know if the lead single for this was great. I think this, as I said, I think this did a great song in promoting this song. I don't know if it promoted this album. When I listen to this again, I'm not entirely sure I would. I think, I think it's great. I think the song's right. I think everything's right. However, I don't know. And I, and I, I say this because I, I know jealousy sells. Jealousy sells music. We've seen it happen with Mary J. Blige. We've seen it with Nicki. We've seen it constantly sell. But I don't know if the, I don't know to me I don't know if this is a good song I think it, it's a decently song it's produced very well his vocals were okay on the song but the subject matter I don't entirely know if I I don't know if I enjoy it like it's not a song where I'm dancing to it's not a song where I'm showing love inspiration trying to I don't know this is a song it, it leaves a, a a weird taste in my mouth I don't know if I hate it but I definitely don't love it. Like other songs that I don't, I, I don't know. I'm in that 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 difficult line between like dislike completely and like like, and and so this is why this song is like a four out of ten for me. Which no disrespect to DDG, you did great. No disrespect to any of the producers. I like I said, this beat is amazing. His voice is amazing. However, I don't know if the song is. I don't know if the song the song might just not be for me. The rest of the album, we'll see. Um, but I don't, I don't know this, this, that song for me, it's, I don't know if it's, it, it fits the theme of maybe it's me, but I don't know if maybe it's me is going to get that album pushed like it should have, like that album roll, roll out it should have. I don't know. I'm not a marketing major and I'm a marketing genius by any means. Uh, this show is an example. Um, but I don't know. I don't necessarily believe that this is the best way to handle a situation in a relationship. So 
with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And who do you definitely side with? Do you think this was the right way to handle it? Do you think this? Do you think there's any truth in the music, or how do you really feel? Let's have this discussion. I'm curious, and I'll see you in the next one.